dedicate my time today to really do some photo editing. Yeah, I really wanted to level up my editing game uh, this year. And you know what? I just remembered, I actually got a package. Um, and this came through a couple weeks ago, just, just after Christmas, and I totally forgot about it. I'm not sure if you remember, a couple months ago, I've unboxed something. Uh, it's like a mini camera. Actually, I do have it here, hang on. I got it here. So, this thing, so I've unboxed this and reviewed this a couple months ago. Uh, it doesn't have Wi-Fi capability, so it's not like something that I can really use. And this would be the Wi-Fi version of that, and I believe this can shoot in 4K. So I got this in Amazon Australia. I got this for free. So they sent me another package. Contacted me before, and now they've contacted me again, and to review this. So yeah, it's, totally forgot about it. Now I remember. This is it. This is the non-Wi-Fi version. This is the Wi-Fi version. Okay. There you go. This works. Uh, yep. Yeah, okay. Ah. Okay. Bit of a different look in here. Still comes with an SD card slot. USB connection, wow. Looks main. It looks main compared to the original version. This is the non-Wi-Fi version, this is the Wi-Fi version, see? Paperwork, instruction manuals. Uh, you got the, yep, the USB connection. Then you still got the magnetic thingy. Yeah, it's a magnet, see? So it's a 4K and 1080p Wi-Fi mini camera. So there's an app that I need to download. It's called HD Minicam. You can find it on Google Play and App Store. So I need to download that. Three and a half out of five stars. Sounds promising. HD Minicam, it's free by the way. So it's, there's no charges. While the app is downloading, uh, just reading through here. Yep, yeah, power on the camera. Okay, camera is powered on. Then go to the Wi-Fi and connect to the camera's Wi-Fi network. Okay, set up. Yep, new device. I would say I need to put in the password of my Wi-Fi here. It's actually connected, see? Hello. So it's actually working now. So it's connected, you can see me here. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. You need the Wi-Fi connection to connect to a security cam so that wherever you go, you'll be able to see what exactly is going on compared to the non-Wi-Fi version. You know, it's just gonna sit there collecting dust. And I still need an SD card, yeah? So I don't have an SD card here. Okay, let me just turn this off. I need to grab an SD card and then I'll come back to you guys. Hang on. Okay, I keep saying SD card. You actually need a micro SD card. Sorry about that. It's here, SD card, if you can, if you can read it. It says, anyway, it just says SD card in there. Yeah, logging in. You definitely need the app to control this because it doesn't have a record, press record button on and off. The quality isn't too bad, it has a little relatively wide angle, kind of the same lens as the original one. So you can change it to 4K, great. All right, so that was a 1080p. All right, this is a 4K version. Testing this out and it's actually not too bad. Can you change the lighting? Uh, yeah, you can brighten it up. You can change directions as well, up and down, left and right. It's actually pretty neat. The microphone was off. So, hello, testing. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hello. Ah, oh, see that? You can hear yourself. Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello. Yeah, oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah, okay. Let me just turn this off. Give you a little bit of background and context. This is my security camera. This is what I'm using at home, quite big. Because this can only shoot uh, 720p. I've got this so many years now. It's you know, you know, uses Wi-Fi signals as well. You connect with your router and everything. Now compare that to this one. See, so look at look at the size. This difference. This is very discreet. You can hide it anywhere. This will be my Wi-Fi security camera moving forward. Um, yeah, look, the previous version, because there's no Wi-Fi, it's hard for me to really use it and gather from the mobile phone, the sound quality is okay, it's passable, but it's picking up a lot of background noise as well, but we'll see. I definitely have a lot more use on this one compared to the other one. Again, there's no image stabilization in here, I'm not even gonna bother running around with this one like what I've done before. Uh, it's, as long as you place this stationary, preferably next to a, um, a wall socket, because you will probably need to connect. Uh, this USB thingy to wall plug and then connect it to wall plug. It's actually a longer sort of length, which is not too bad. 
It's a simple, easy mini security camera. It's wireless, shoots in 4K, easy connectivity with your mobile phone. Probably not the most sophisticated one that's out there, but if you're looking for something very sh simple and easy to use, do check it out. Again, I'll drop the link down below. So thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this quick unboxing of the security mini camera. And yeah, if you want to see more videos like this, do let me know if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. I really appreciate it and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Anyways, I'm going to get back to more photo editing and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.